Hi guys, I have some great news. God is good. God is good. God is good because last night we got the offer. We are now officially under contract. Woohoo! I'm so excited. And so I really want to take this time to thank each and every one of you who said prayers, sent well wishes, reminded me that it's, it's not on our time, it's on God's time. And he has a plan and a purpose and things will happen when he's ready for them to happen. And so last night we were sitting on the couch watching TV and um, got the call from our realtor. We were thinking, oh, we thought an offer was coming in. Why hasn't it come in? And then we got the call. So, so happy, so excited. And you guys, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm looking at myself, I'm like, what is wrong with your face? I forgot to draw my eyebrows on. My little pencil is upstairs, so sorry about that. I look like Mona Lisa right now. Thank you guys for all of your fabulous comments on my last video where I was sort of ranting and moping about the fact that my daughter is now off at college. And it, it, was, it was nice to know that we could all relate with one of, one another and gosh I have to tell you it was somewhat therapeutic too because as I was going through the comments I was crying I was crying because I had just been through it so I I could totally relate to how all of you felt when you were dropping your firstborn off or your second one or third one whatever and the fact that some of you are now empty nesters and some of you are missing your children even though they're grown children and have lives of their own are perhaps married with you know and you have grandkids now and you still miss them that way so I, I definitely shed a lot of tears reading all those comments and it I think it helped it really helped just get those shed those tears out and I feel better so anyway I want to thank you guys and I just love you all so much you, you you all are truly the best and I mean that with my whole heart and soul. So even though I don't comment because I am so busy and it's not just the move, I'm just busy in general, as you all know, um, please know that I have read every comment and, and it goes right here. And y'all are in my heart and my prayers. Anytime I read something where any of you are struggling or going through a hard time, I definitely keep you in my prayers at night. So please just know so that. So speaking of the other day where I had mentioned that we were going to perhaps reshoot the house and I had moved furniture, I had sold furniture, redecorated very minim minimalistically. For all the home stagers of America, don't shoot me. I just, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't. I just couldn't. I added some fall here and there. So let's dive into it. Let's go see what I've done. Now on the mantle, you may remember it was a beach theme. It was two mirrors. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it, but I may not. Um, it was two mirrors. It was some greenery. There were some seabirds, some beach wood, driftwood kind of a thing. And I had two arrangements with lights with look like beach grass. It's gone. All right, so I went down to my store in the basement and I grabbed this. And what I love about this is that it's rustic. It's, I love the scrolly, you know, detail. If I'm honest, once a Tuscan girl, always a Tuscan girl. And so this sort of reminds me of the Tuscan days with a hint of farmhouse. So I think this is gonna be perfect for fall. And what I've done is I just added a simple thumbtack there, and then we're gonna add a fall wreath. Let's add a wreath. Look how pretty this one is. It's real, I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but it's sparkly and shimmery. Let's put it on that. I think the colors will just pop. Guess what? Done. 
the old layers would have added greenery and floral picks, maybe a pheasant, maybe an owl, um, pumpkins, gourds, the works, lights, you know, not this year, not this year. I'm gonna make up for it at Christmas. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen and you may remember this space. I have this white cabinet here and I had two shelves above it that I love to decorate seasonally. And I usually had a little lamp and a cake stand with a faux apple pie. And I had, um, I just, I changed it out through the seasons. Anyway, we decided to minimize things around here. So we took the shelves down, we patched, puttied and painted. And um, I just couldn't leave it just like that. Oh no, oh no. I know, home stagers of America, don't shoot me. But we're gonna add just a little fall touch. And um, let's do it. You guys may remember this little gothic looking window. I got this on Etsy. In fact, I got three of them because I loved them so much. And they're really great quality. You can actually choose the stain. So you can choose light, you can choose dark, you can choose white, whatever. Um, I don't have the link for it, but I think if you type in like gothic wood window or, so, or something like that, you might be able to find it. Um, but in any case, I, I added a thumbtack and it's a simple way you can add signs, wreaths, um, clocks. I'm gonna show you that next. Sky's the limit. So all we're gonna do here is lean it up against the wall. And also too, there's a light switch right there. You might be saying, Liz, why are you covering that light switch? Well, we don't use it that often. So who cares, right? Let's lean it. No nails required. Done. So it's very simple. All I'm gonna do is hang it on the thumbtack. Now over here in this corner of the kitchen, I, I have taken those two new black trays that I got from Hobby Lobby. By the way, I found these on Amazon, so I'll link them in the description box below. Um, I hope they're still available. Last time I linked these, they were sold out like that. So anyway, if you guys like them, I'll, I'll try to link them below. But anyway, I have taken a, um, what is that called? A plate holder and I put my trays there and I'm just gonna scoot it back. I want it to look taller. There we go. Then I've got this cute fresh baked pies serve daily sign also from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna set that right there why because I like to layer my items and it's simple it's cute it's not over the top and it's minimal yeah I've got this cute little this was from LTD commodities put a little topiary from Michaels in there and this is a cloche top that I had that went to something else and I just thought it looked cute. And it's gonna go right next to this. Not bad. Remember, I had a Tuscan style mirror right here. Can you believe we, we've been in this house two years and one of the first things we said we were gonna do was install a backsplash. And I don't know how or why we never did it. We never got around to it. So anyway, whoever moves into this house will have the opportunity to do whatever they wish. But nonetheless, we took the mirror down, we patched, we puttied, and uh, let's go over here now. See, I've just got some simple cutting boards here. I think we need to bring out a fall cutting board and take one of those away. I ran down to my storage room, I found my cute cutting board, and this is it. Now. Many of you may know Bella from Bella D Design. She's also a fellow YouTube creator and she also owns her own home decor business where she makes and sells a lot of wood products. Now, I would not recommend anything that I didn't feel was great quality. And I can tell you from experience, her products are amazing. But anyway, she is going to bring back this pumpkin. She made it last year and it was super popular and it's adorable. What I love about this is you can use it in your fall decorating in your kitchen. Last year, I put 
a, a little fall pick in here and I basically put it through the hole and bent it and then I added a really cute bow with sunflowers on it. And what you can do in your kitchen is take a plate holder or little easel and set this in it and you know with your little fall bow and flowers and it makes a really cute display here you know in any kitchen you could put it on a hutch and display it the same way or you could use it as it's intended and that is to cut on and chop on also too if you are having say a gathering of people for the fall this is you could just stick your little finger in here and put some you know cheese and crackers and grapes whatever on it and take it around to your guests would you like this would you like that and I, it's just so cute i love it so i thought since i'm adding just a few little fall things why not add this and take one of these cutting boards away if you would like to order this pumpkin for fall i will link it in the description box below you can run over to her website and purchase it there but anyway super super cute so I think I will take this one away and I'm just going to set this one here sort of off to the side. But I think having all of those cutting boards right there is, it's a really cute way to add some wood texture, you know, in your kitchen. So now in the corner over here, I've got this cloche, well, this cake stand, again, LTD commodities, cheap, cheap, cheap. And then I found this little top at Home Goods, and I found the faux donuts at my local consignment store. And what a cute display this makes in your kitchen. And I'm simply gonna set it here in that corner, just like that. Done. Remember I had, I added some neutral curtains there last week. A few of you said, take it down. Just take them down, it'll look more open, and it'll dry, draw your eye up. So I took your advice and I did it. You proud of me? Apothecary jar, I guess that's what you would call it. And I have filled it with popcorn and beans because I think it's just a cute touch to add during the fall season. And I've added a neutral bow. And I'm gonna put it right, right there. I'm just gonna set that, I guess, to the side of it. And then I have this. I think this is super cute for the kitchen i got this at home goods for $12.99 and i'm just gonna set it there for a little grouping of three maybe off to the side like that now in this corner i just added a cake stand with my faux apple pie i added a little wreath here for a little texture and a wax warmer so it makes the kitchen smell amazing and i think it looks cute it's just a little touch here in the corner i'm just really focusing on corners and then everything else is wide open. Can you guys guess where I am now? Any guesses? The sunroom. Remember what once used to be there? My Tuscan hutch. It is gone. It's It got sold. It's It went bye-bye. What am I going to put there? So I drug this Ashley furniture cabinet in. I added two lamps, but of course we have to keep it minimal, right? So I'm gonna add another Gothic window and I'm gonna add a clock to it. So here's another Gothic window. Again, a simple thumbtack. You just kind of put it in here and twist it into, into the wood so it'll hold whatever you wanna hang on here rather tight. Because I'm putting a clock on it, I want it to be extra, extra in there good. Okay, and now let's, I'm just gonna lean it right here. Oh, but what to hang on it? You could put a wreath, a sign, even a cute little like mirror. Um, I'm gonna add a cloth just because I think it's different. So you guys, I got this from LTD Commodities and I think it's super cute. So, Let's go over here, sorry about that. Right on the back here, it's got a little hanger thing. Sorry, I'm moving you guys all over the place. And let's just hang it right here. I think 
that is so cute. I've never done this before. Now, if you guys like this look, what I would recommend is bring it down one more notch. Maybe, maybe just down a little bit, maybe like to here so that it hangs a little bit lower so it doesn't hide the beautiful detail at the top of that. So just a little tip if you wanna copy this idea, but um, I think it's really cute. It draws your eyes up. It's simple and the best part, it's different. How many people do you know have something like this and they hang a clock on it? Don't be afraid to add things to other pieces. I've got a lot more to show you, but I need content, you know, and I'm in limbo land right now. So I will hold off on that until probably my next video. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got a few little ideas as uh, minimal as they were. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for your love and your support. I love you guys. I really do. And I will see you guys in the next one.